Hello everyone, welcome to Children's Ministry this week. We are trying something new this week, but I'm joined by many of our Sunday school and crew time leaders. So we're just gonna go around and introduce ourselves. Uh, I'm Pastor Alicia, and I'm gonna let others introduce themselves who they are. I'm, Hello. I'm Lori Thorpe. I'm Krista Luca, and this is Carolyn and Nick. Hi, I'm Bailey. I am Alice. Jenny. Bailey. And Natalie. I'm Janae. I'm John. I'm Bethany. I'm Michaela. So I just want to begin by saying uh, it's good to be together for children's ministry this week and to talk about this week's story. But before we get started tonight, I want you to know that the church cares about each and every one of you, and we're here to support you in your faith during this time, and we trust in God, uh, both in our highs and our lows, and that's what we're going to talk about tonight, that we can call upon God in scripture uh, when we're in times that have highs and lows in life. So we're going to begin, as we always do, with uh, going through the books of the Bible. So Miss Jenny and Haley and Natalie and Bailey are going to lead us through that. All right, so... On the screen, you will see all of the books of the Bible. We're going to add more to it. We're going to start with Isaiah, and we're going to go all the way up to Micah. Those are the new books of the Bible for this week. So please repeat after me. Isaiah. 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 Jeremiah. 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 Lamentations. Lamentations. Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Daniel. Daniel. Hosea. Hosea. Joel. Joel. Amos. Amos. Obadiah. Obadiah. Jonah. Jonah. Micah. Micah. Awesome. Now we're going to go and start at the very beginning and go down to Micah. So repeat after me. Genesis, Genesis, Genesis Exodus, Exodus, Leviticus, Leviticus, Numbers, Numbers, Numbers Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Joshua, Joshua Judges, Judges, Ruth, Ruth, First and Second Samuel, First and Second Samuel. First and Second Kings. First and Second Kings. First and Second Chronicles. First and Second Chronicles. Ezra. Ezra. Nehemiah. Nehemiah. Esther. Esther. Job. Job. Psalms. Psalms. Proverbs. Proverbs. Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Song of Solomon. Isaiah, Isaiah, Isaiah. Jeremiah. Jeremiah, Lamentations, Lamentations. Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Ezekiel, Daniel, Daniel. Daniel. Hosea, Hosea. Hosea. Joel. Joel. Joel, Amos, Amos. Obadiah, Oh, Jonah. 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 Micah. 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 Awesome job, you guys. Keep practicing this this week. Now I'm going to turn it over to Lori, who has a question for you. Hello. Today's story is about temptation. Temptation, the noun, or tempted the verb, means when you do something and you know it is wrong. Have you ever been tempted? Chris, would you like to share? Sure. I remember sneaking into my mom's room and seeing a piece of candy that was my absolute favorite candy. I knew it was something I shouldn't have, but I snuck in and I took it yeah. and I snuck in a corner and ate it. <laughs> I'd like Just to share as well. 
Um, so I've been tempted a lot by my friends who have a lot less schoolwork than me to go and grab dinner or go watch a movie. Um, but I know that it'll, it'll be really late at night. Um, so that's one of the temptations that keeps getting at me. Um, so right now, luckily I've always chosen to stay home and do schoolwork, but hopefully I keep that uh, trend. I'll also like to share, um, I've been tempted a lot too with like seeing movies at night instead of like going to bed early, getting ready for work or any early activities in the morning and seeing like all these wonderful movies like either Frozen 2 that came or any other kid movies. So I've been tempted a lot and just never had the energy of getting up in the morning how I'm supposed to. You know, I think all of us have been tempted from time to time. I think every single one of us could name a lot of different times that we've been tempted. And that leads us into our season that we're in right now that we've been talking about each week. Uh, if you remember, our season's called Lent and uh, Lent lasts for 40 days. And part of the reason that we discuss Lent is because Jesus spent 40 days being tempted in the wilderness. And what did Jesus do to help resist those temptations was he relied on scripture. And right now, I think it's time for Janae to read a story so that we can kind of learn a little bit more about how Jesus dealt with temptation and how he, he turned to God and to scripture for help and support. Yeah. So I'm going to share our screen quick, and I have the story called Tempted. So I do not have the book of the Bible in here, but could I ask Alicia quick which book of the Bible this would be in? Yeah, you're going to look at your Spark Storybook Bible uh, that you may have at home, or you can just follow along. Yes, this is on page 248, I believe, in our Spark Story Bible. So I'm going to start reading now. After Jesus was baptized in the Jordan River, God led him to the desert. Jesus was all alone without any food for 40 days. He prayed to God for help, but it was still really hard to be in the wilderness. Jesus got very hungry. His stomach was rumbling. The devil came to Jesus and tried to tempt him. If you are God's son, tell the tell the stone to turn to bread for you to eat. Jesus remembered God's word and answered, no one can live on food alone. Then the devil led Jesus up to a place where he could see all the kingdom of the world and said, I can give you the world to, I can give the world to anyone. If you turn away from God, you could be king with power over all of these lands. People would worship and honor only you. Jesus remembered more of God's words, worship and serve only God. Lastly, the devil tempted Jesus to jump off the roof of the temple. If you are God's son, jump. God will send angels to protect you. They will catch you so you will not get hurt. But Jesus knew the word of God also said, don't test God. Jesus was tempted three times to go against God, God's word. Each time Jesus knew God was with him. Each time, Jesus said no. Jesus was in the desert and hungry for a long time. He was happy that God was always with him, especially when he was tempted to do wrong. <clears throat> All right. So I believe I'm going to... Um, I got to stop sharing that quick. There we go. And I believe we're going to Michaela and Bethany next. All right, so for our highs and lows this week, you're gonna do it with someone in your household or family member. So for example, you would say, well, you don't really have to say your name since you guys all live together, but you would say my high for the week is that I've been able to sleep in every day and my low is that I miss seeing all my friends in school. And my high for the week is that I got wings today. And my low for the week is that I'm stuck in the house with a moody sixth grader. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we would like 
to, um, before we say our goodbyes, we're going to have Pastor Alicia lead us in a closing prayer. All right, I will close this with a word of prayer and then you can go to the people that you're with and share your highs and your lows. So if you'd bow your heads with me and repeat after me. Dear God, Dear God, thank you for being a God who is with us in our highs and in our lows. And in our lows. Thank you for this church. Thank you for this church. And thank you for your love. And we thank you for your love. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. And all God's people together say, Amen. God bless you all. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Have a good week. Bye.